Hey, it's Stephanie Stallworth, the ATL Traffic Lady. I think the swear off it was cold in here this morning. Oh my goodness. But I guess it's not like what you guys are dealing with where you are. For those who are up north still dealing with that nor'easter, now here it could be a third nor'easter <sighs> system coming your way. So never a good thing. Happy Thursday to you. Hope you're well. Down here in Atlanta, it got pretty cold. We even have a freeze warning coming in for tonight, so eh, not loving it, not loving it. So, hey, Keith Johnson, what's up? Oh, I can't talk about cold. You, you're in Chicago, so <laughs> I'm complaining over nothing, I guess, right? <laughs> Let me do this report real quick <clears throat> for 92.9 The Game. Oh, something stall away from the Game Time Traffic Center. This traffic update sponsored by CC's. As you're out and about today, there's so many issues and heavy delays out there. It's time for 85 uh, trying to travel uh, down by Pleasantdale. Then we had the crash 75 north of Old Bridgehead coming up the West Travel Lane. And had one 285 and you have a past Riverside. New crust, new sauce, New York South East, and Apple Beach Cakes. We have a large slice of the New York Ball Pepperoni Pizza and Cheesecake Valley for dessert. There's so much to love on the buffet for just five and change. Only at CC's, price is very restrictions apply. From the Game Time Traffic Center, I'm Stephanie Stallworth on 1489. Yeah, so, um, wow. What kind of weather do you have, Keith? Type in the comments, buddy. Up in uh, Chi Town. Oh, you gotta get it on a regular basis, so. I'm really gonna do it. <laughs> So, good morning, good morning. Hey, Candy. Hey, Tia. How are you? I think I can move the thing closer or get better vision. <laughs> oh, it's a Thursday indeed, right? Before Friday and the weekend. Candy, how much snow did you get? How about you, Tia? Did you get snow? How much did you get there? I told you there was nine inches in Philly. Is that true? Like, oh. They said that uh, they were calling for two to six inches on Sunday, and then by Monday they upped it to six to twelve. So wow. So I want to know how much you got, Candy. You got great seeing you. How many? How much snow did you get? Five inches. Okay. Oh, that's still five inches. Wow. Yeah. So is everything finished now? Did the uh, snow end? What's happening with the nor'easter there in the uh, Philly area? But, um, so we build this one corner here to see how they made it out. I know last nor'easter they lost two trees in the yard. Um, this nor'easter is just more about the snow than anything else, or um, what was the snow? So it was more about. Hey, Mike Edwards, how are you? Good to see you. You're down here, right? In Atlanta, so it's a little cold for us. We're talking about some of the people up in Philly. They've got uh, some little snow from that second nor'easter in a week. And of course, Mike Edwards, meteorologist extraordinaire. So you could tell us more, could you? <laughs> oh, blue skies today. Can you say blue skies today? Up in Philly, so that's good. That is good. Mike, you have any meteoro meteorological uh, meteorology? Meteorological, meteorological. <laughs> How's I give her either a chocolate chip cookie beforehand? Any meteorology uh, wisdom for us? <laughs> I'll say it that way instead. Oh, I tell you, I tell you, it's been a week. It's been a week. So, um, trying to use live sleep. Have you guys heard of live sleep? to uh, take this Facebook Live from my local page, from my personal page, over to my professional page for ATL Traffic Lady on Facebook, and I'll pop it out on Twitter, too, like a simulcast, but I don't know if it's working. I'm going to find out in a couple of minutes. So thank you for popping in. I was going to try to come a little earlier, but got a little bit busy. Hey, Paulette. Hey, Doss. I know the weather's good where you are. 
the island. I love that. Yeah, old Philly got uh, so much snow out there. Yeah, um, we're just trying to uh, commiserate the snow woes or snow snowed in folks. But Candy, five inches, that's not too, too bad. I guess you could plow out of that. I think you got a new snowblower this year, right? So we could use that. That's always a good thing. I was going to get a snowblower. Well, I would have to deal with it, but I never did. And then I moved here. And we never really used snowblower. But if I was still there, the only way I could manage it is uh, doing that mechanical removal of snow. So 75 more of old sticks that we're holding on our own here. <clears throat> there were a couple of boards here. So, um, all right, so I'm doing traffic in Atlanta, and let's see if you can see through here. The next studio over is, <clears throat> can't see her. Oh, there's Maria Boynton. You see her right there. She's doing uh, the news in a second. And then two studios over is uh, the new Frank and Wanda Morning Show. On V103, you can see Frank, the back of him. You can't see Wanda. She's just off camera range on the other side of the studio. So they're doing their thing. They're going to toss to Maria. And then Maria will toss to me to get your traffic report. And then she'll finish out. And then it's back to good music. Good music. So we're um, at Intercom Radio Atlanta. Good morning. 85 degree. Oh, toss. <laughs> Now, where exactly is that? These are in the islands of where it's 85 degrees this morning, you guys. That would melt that snow in a second. So who needs mechanical removal of snow? We need uh, natural removal of snow, 85 degrees, for a big melt. Wow, 85 degrees. That's nice. I could use that right about now. I'd do some sitting outside, relaxing on the porch, out the back. Cook up the grill, do some good cooking, and all that fun stuff. I'm ready for that kind of weather. Because right now it's, it's in the 30s this morning. I think it's still in the 30s. So we have a freeze warning effect for tonight um, in Atlanta. So, yeah. Let's see. Don't have the next south of 14. Uh, so we had a couple crashes this morning. Yesterday we had that water main break on Beachwood Highway. It turned out to be way more than just a water main break. Well, I'll say it had more effects than just a regular water main break. Because the water had been flowing for so long. I mean, it started just before 4 a.m. We finally got the water turned off around. Eight something or nine. So all those hours of water just flowing created sort of a lake out there on the road and um, ended up affecting the water supply. So people were out of water businesses in schools. So the Cab County schools closed. The Decatur schools, they closed early. Um, businesses had to close or had to use their no water available menu. You know? So it was limited things that they could make before they could stuff like that. Um, colleges were closing in the area. I think one of the malls closed in the area. So that turned into be a major economic impact, among other impacts. Uh, we do have the road reopen today, but we have, uh, we're still working on getting the water pressure up and the water flowing and everything back again. So they have boil water advisory in the county. It just turned out to be a really, really tough deal. Uh, down here, you know how water main breaks are. You guys up north, water main breaks, water main breaks, not a big deal. But once in a while, it becomes a bigger issue. Um, and that's kind of what we had. That's what we had out there today. Um, <clears throat> we were talking to Maria. I think there were a couple accidents here. So we had to hold all the way around to those vehicles. 
Who do I have? Dawes, Cayman Islands. No traffic. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> 85 in the Cayman. I want to go there. <laughs> that's got to be nice. That was a great move, Dawson, for you. Excellent move. Good about that. Let people get to go do what they want to do and enjoy life, you know? <clears throat> Thirty, you guys got to go to work today. No people for anything. Else. Just got to come a little early. I'm coming a little early now. Watch Friday. So kids had to bring bottled water with them to school. For the Southern Boy Water Advisory in DeKalb County. Okay. Nothing going on. <clears throat> you guys buy your Girl Scout cookies? Dunkin' okay, Donuts has the uh, Girl Scout cookie inspired flavor uh, coffee. <laughs> Does it really taste like the cookies? Probably tastes a lot like it. You can't beat Thin Mints. I still have my Oreo uh, chocolate candy bar. I got on the Oreo day. I took one bite of it, but I think I had to put it in the refrigerator. You know, like you would do your Thin Mints. You guys ever have these? I tweeted out the uh, link on my uh, Twitter yesterday, or two days ago, about uh, from 6ABC in Philly, TV station. They put a uh, thing out where Oreo had a coupon for uh, getting a free candy bar. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm Stephanie Stolmery. Good morning to you. Just traffic update is sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. Had several crashes out there. 175 North, the old big city took out the left lane, then they had to hold all the travel lanes to move those vehicles out of the travel portion of the roadway. So once that's done, you'll be back in business there. Had 125 North at Glenwood on the east side, and also if you're traveling 20 uh, over by the perimeter, had one earlier. That's a little caught in some backups for you there. Here's some big news Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Now your favorite girl got cookie inspired flavors like chocolatey thin mints. Only a Dunkin' price and participation may vary. Limited time offer. I'm Stephanie Stolberg with the traffic when you need it most. To all the people station, B103, the ATL's number one for hip hop and RB. Yeah, so, um, I don't think it tastes like it. I guess it does. I get those different creamers that taste like different stuff these days. Everything's so flavored. We didn't have all these flavors when we were growing up. Maybe. I saw an old bag of um, Doritos, Doritos, and the flavor, it was like a throwback. The flavor was taco flavor. <laughs> we didn't have Doritos taco flavor. I mean, that was the original one, that orange bag. Now, of course, Doritos comes in a bazillion flavors. So everything's so flavored these days, you know. Because we get spoiled after all. Hey, Kermit, what's up? TDW, Tracy Wilder, what's going on? How's Ishe Productions? I see all your uh, photography work out there on Facebook. So you guys check out Tracy and Ishe Productions if you need some photography work. Or, of course, he's a broadcast professional for so many years, 30 some odd years, right? So if you need some production, he's your man for that. Good morning to you. He said, Grandmama, that's me. Hey, my team, what's up? We got a little uh, Shippensburg rolling here in the house, a little Yaden in the house, a little Westchester, a little QVC folks, uh, some Penwood people, Darby Colwyn, Yaden High School, Lansdowne, Alden. We got all that going on. So um, I just want to say hi this morning. I'm going to hop off of here, I guess, and try to um, see if the simulcast worked, but I don't think it did. I have to make some adjustments to my lovely. Uh, set up. We haven't quite gotten it right yet, but the goal is to uh, simulcast a Facebook Live, not just to my personal page, but move it over to my professional page. So you guys go ahead and like my uh, Facebook page. It's Stephanie Stallworth, your ATL Traffic Lady, ATL Traffic Lady for Atlanta, and also on uh, Twitter, ATL Traffic Lady, ATL Traffic Lady. And on Instagram, ATL Traffic Lady. So those, if you follow me, I'll follow you back. Go do that. 
on the off air for today. So trying to build the brand a little bit bigger here and uh, do the simulcast and stuff. So I'll get the bugs worked out. So a couple of short hits uh, each morning and see how to work it out. And then we'll uh, launch full blast pretty soon. Plus got some podcasts coming up uh, for you soon as well. So lots to look forward to. You guys let me know what you're doing. Type it in the comments section. Let me know what's happening for you. If you're ever on YouTube, you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube. It's uh, ATL Traffic Lady there. Also Stephanie Lloyd Stallworth, ATL Traffic Lady, okay? All right, so follow me. I'll follow you back. I'll subscribe back to you, and uh, we'll get some things going here in 2018. Hope you guys are having a good morning. Be safe out there. Stay warm. And I'll be back in the morning probably around 730. We'll try to sign on. Uh, for the Facebook Live. All right, Stephanie Stallworth, your ATL Traffic Lady. You're up to date. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for stopping by.